this is my latest project, it's a breadboard power supply module. But as you can see, it's quite over-engineered. So of course you've got your USB-C port, which I presume you're going to be using most of the time, but you've also got a barrel jack. So that's 5.5mm by 2.1mm, I think. Um, you have a toggle switch for power, so it toggles power on and off. Um, you can hold it as long as you can, doesn't oscillate, doesn't bounce. And you've got um, a slide switch over here for changing between 5 volts and 3.3 volts. You've also got some protection features, like you've got TVS diodes, you've got a crowbar diode, a diode for this, a uh, barrel jack, and also a fuse. Now the inductors and capacitors here, they act as a filter, so sometimes you have noisy power supplies, um, and that's a capacitor, inductor, capacitor, filter. So at the back, you've got quite a nice design I reckon. You've got a, some kind of Japanese dragon uh, latching power supply over here, some text. Um, this logo is silver instead of gold because it's actually um, the next revision of a board. I ordered these boards to be Enig, uh, which are these nice kind of golden boards, but I messed up on the components. So there's a resistor R9 somewhere here um, that's connected to the wrong thing. So this is the new version. Uh, it's fixed, but it is a hassle. So it's going to be silver. You can order it in whatever finish you'd like, of course. So before you start making this project, I've got to warn you of one thing. Uh, this board requires soldering of 0201 components and 0402 components, which are quite small. Also, this MOSFET here has nine pads underneath it, so it might be quite difficult for beginners. Um, this TVS diode is quite small, but it's easier to solder than it looks, and everything else is mostly fine. You've also got some through-hole components, which you'll need to put on after you've done your hot plating or putting in the reflow oven. I and mean, you'll also need to flip overboard and solder these headers on the back. So let's plug it in. Make sure polarity is correct. So it does say ground VCC, ground VCC on there. Uh, let's get a cable. So when you plug it in, it will be in the off state, indicated by the green LED. So this will be off. There's also another LED right here. It's an 0201 LED, but you can put an 0402 on there, which is what I did. Um, an 0402 doesn't fit the best on an 0201 pad, but oh well. So to turn it on, just press the button and the LED lights up. So currently I've got this in 5 volt mode. And then that's a little bit over 5 volts, but that depends on your power supply. Because this isn't going through any regulators, this is coming straight out of my USB-C port. If I flip it over to 3.3 volts, the LED dims, and this LED also dims. I think this one does as well, I wasn't really paying attention. Let's test it out. So that's a bit out of focus, but you can see it's about 3.3 volts. It's a little bit under because there is some voltage drop in the breadboard, but that would be almost dead on 3.3 volts. Um, you'd be able to draw about 300 milliamps, I suggest from both. Um, you'd be able to draw a lot more from this port if you're only using 5 volts. Um, each regulator is, regul is about 300 milliamps. I think the, the regulator for this port can take a little bit more current, but not a lot, about 350 milliamps, I reckon. Um, so this port is um, 7 volts and higher. Oh, it's not focusing. Sorry about that, wasn't in focus. Um, and then if you want to turn the board off, all you've got to do, press the button again. And then switches off, goes back to a green LED. So this is pretty much it. Uh, there's more information on my principles page, but this is the project. Um, this video is sponsored by PCBWay, so please check them out. Order the boards on PCBWay, really good quality. And um, see you next time, I suppose.